Today I'm sharing seven ways I am not frugal. Now this may come as a surprise to some of you, but I am honestly not about always being frugal and everything has to be the most frugal thing. When I announced that I was pregnant, I got so many comments like, I can't wait to see how you're gonna have the most frugal baby and save all this money on this and not splurge on anything. And I was like, sorry, but. There are some ways that we're saving money and then some ways that we are totally splurging. So today I'm gonna to talk about ways that we're not frugal. And I think that's totally okay. I think that there is a lot of shame in this community and honestly, I don't like it. I don't like the shame that a lot of creators bring to this space. Just being honest, just being frank. And there's, there's a lot of shame going on. And we're all at different journeys. We're all at different places. And just because I'm at this place in my in my financial journey doesn't mean that you can't do different things at whatever place you're at. We have worked really hard to become debt free, to do different things with our money. And we've worked really hard to get where we are today. And I think it's totally fine to splurge a little bit. So we're gonna talk about things that we do, my husband and I, my family, that are not frugal. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Kelly Ann Smith from freedominabudge.com. And the first thing that we do that is not frugal is we shop local. We love supporting local businesses and local small businesses. And it's really been a big thing for us, especially that I'm a small business owner myself. And when I get a purchase, when I get a sale, that supports my family, that puts food on my table. Whereas when someone shops from Amazon or a big corporation, then they don't feel it as much. So I love supporting small local businesses and buying, whether it be at the farmer's market or at a craft shop or a local mom and pop diner versus a big chain restaurant for breakfast like Cracker Barrel. Now I love me some Cracker Barrel, but I love supporting local businesses and we're willing to pay a little bit extra to support our local business. That is one thing that we do that is not frugal at all, but it means a lot to us and it's something that we really care about. Number two is shoes. We are not frugal about our shoes. I live in Florida and I wear flip-flops every single day. I'm wearing flip-flops now, but I'm 38 weeks pregnant and can't really get my foot up there to show you and that would be weird if I showed you anyway. So I'm glad I can't get my foot up there to show you. But I wear reef flip-flops. So reef flip-flops are not the cheapest flip-flops, but they have great support. They're very comfortable. I can wear them all day long and not feel discomfort. Unlike maybe Old Navy flip-flops. Guys, do you remember Old Navy flip-flops? Like the colors? I remember in high school, I'm totally dating myself, but in high school, like, I had all of the colors all of the colors of flip-flops. And then remember the the double tanked when you wore the two tank tops with the different colors and then the two polos where you pop the collar and had the two different colors showing? Was that just me? Was that just like a New England thing? I don't feel like it was a New England thing, but yeah, that was, that was totally me in high school. But with all that being said, I do not buy cheap flip-flops. I splurge. Um, Jamie wears Nikes to work because he's on his feet all day long at work. And I also wear Merrells for sneakers. Merrells are one of the only shoes that I found that do not give me blisters. I get blisters on the balls of my feet very easily. They're very sensitive, I don't know why, but they are. And so shoes are something that we splurge on and are not frugal about. The next thing that we splurge on is vacations. Vacations and creating memories are really important to us. I would much rather pay for an experience than a present because a present, you may, you know, you may have it for longer, but it also may just get stuck in the closet or on a shelf or whatever. Whereas experience, you're gonna have those memories. And if you're a YouTuber like me, then you get video vlogs of them as well. But having really great experiences is so important to us. We have spent, I think we spent well over, not well over, but we spent over $10,000 on our Alaskan cruise. That's a lot of money, but we paid cash for it, we saved for it, and it was amazing. It was an amazing, amazing, amazing vacation. Once in a lifetime vacation, we'll probably go back. But an Alaskan cruise, we've been to Africa, we've been to all over the Caribbean on, on cruises, we've been to the Dominican Republic, we've been Mexico, we've been all over different places in the US as well. So travel is really important to my husband and I, and that is something that, that we splurge on. Next is credit cards. Now, credit cards aren't really a thing that we splurge on or not frugal, but in the frugal community, 
I feel like credit cards are very frowned upon, so I wanted to include it in this list. Now, we pay off our credit card every single month. If you have a credit card and you're not able to pay it off every single month and you're holding a balance on it, no, that is not being frugal at all, and I do not agree with that. Only use credit cards if you can pay them off, and you've learned your spending triggers. Now, you may spend more with a credit card, that's not good. But if you've done the research and really figured out your own personal spending triggers, and if you swipe and spend more, then credit card's not for you. But if you can do it responsibly, I'm totally okay with credit cards. And back to the vacation that we ended up using our points for miles for round trip tickets from South Florida to Seattle, round trip, and two nights, three nights in a hotel, one night before, and then two nights on the way after, um, after the cruise. So three nights in a hotel plus round trip tickets across the country, all for free on point. So those credit card rewards, they did pay off a little bit. Next is coffee. Now my husband, Jamie, gets Starbucks pretty much every day. Every day that he is working when he's home on like a Saturday, well, he works a lot of weekends, but if he's home and not going into work or anything, he doesn't get Starbucks. But pretty much every other day he's getting Starbucks. Now that is something that we've built into our budget. We also use Fetch Awards gift cards. If you don't use Fetch Awards, definitely use some Fetch Awards uh, videos linked as well as a code to get 2000 points if you use code QHKBH and scan your first receipt. But Fetch Awards is a great way that we can get those gift cards as well to go towards Starbucks. But even if we didn't have Fetch Awards and getting tons of gift cards for Fetch for Starbucks at through fetch we would still be getting starbucks for him every single day because it's something that he enjoys and yeah it may cost three four dollars for his iced coffee but it's something that he really enjoys and we can honestly we can afford it so that is a sacrifice that we're not willing to make and i'm totally okay with that the next non-frugal thing that we do is upgrades on our house now we have done some upgrades in the house, not too, too many. There's some more that we need to get done, but we are big on investing into the things that we have. So for instance, we just put in impact windows in our house and it cost $21,000. Now that is certainly not frugal, but we did it because it does a few different things for us. Number one, it raises our property value. It definitely increases that value because in South Florida, impact windows, whoo, if you got impact windows on your house, you can, you can, charge a little bit more for that house. It reduces our insurance because we live in a hurricane zone. We get hurricanes all the time. And it also is better lifestyle for us. It's a, it's thicker windows. It helps with our air conditioning bill. It helps with sound reduction. It's also a safety issue because before you could like tap on our windows and break them. Now you could 200 mile an hour missile and you're not breaking these windows. So it is a huge safety feature for us as well. But getting upgrades on our house and doing things to improve the quality of life in our house is totally worth it for us. When we look at our windows and just the experience of them and being able to open the screens in the summer, or not in the summer, definitely not in the summer, but in the winter time and get that breeze in with the screens. Oh, I can't wait for that. Cannot wait. We cannot do that with our old windows. The screens, I had holes, lizards coming in. Y'all know with me with lizards, no, not happening. But upgrades in our home is a great way that we are able to show our not frugalness, I guess you would say. Next is a snoo. We invested in a snoo for our baby. Baby is not born yet. Hopefully she will be here by the time that you watch this video. I'm ready. I want her out. <laughs> but <laughs> having contractions, I... I've already had a contraction during this video that I had to stop, but that's besides the point. But we bought a snoo. Now, a snoo is a smart bassinet, and it is very expensive, especially compared to just a normal bassinet. It is like 10 times the price, but we got it on sale. We saved about $300 on it, and it's something that we really wanted, and we were able to afford it. And it's something that we're like, okay, we are literally paying for sleep by using this. They say that on average, when you use a snoo, you get X amount of hours more per night asleep. And that is totally worth it to me. Totally worth it. My sleep, especially as an insomniac, someone that doesn't get a lot of sleep. Yeah, I'll pay for sleep. So a snoo is one way that we splurged. And I'm totally okay with that. Comment down below, what are some things that you splurge on? Are there any things on this list that you're surprised about? Please don't judge me. But I'm curious to know, are there anything in this site that you're surprised about? They're like, I do not think Ellie would splurge on that. But, all right. 
that's that's Kelly in a nutshell. So comment down below. I'm really curious to see what you have to say. If you want some juicy behind the scenes and wanting to know how we grew our net worth over $500,000 in five years, check out this video here. And if you want to know how to make paying off debt fun, how to make it not so miserable and gruesome, check out this video here. Hey.